the auction house is so glitched right now bro these cards are literally ending for 500 i think so cards came out a little while ago and i know this is not the start to a normal video you would ever see but let me just let me just try to get one of these cards like what is up right now come on am i am i late am i late am i late to the party is that what it is i'm definitely late to these parties all right i don't know how much these are ending for oh let's give it a shot i really don't know how much this card is going for let's 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 just aim somewhere let's aim somewhere we, we might get one we might get lucky i don't want to like overpay but i don't want to underpay so i'm just gonna chuck up prices right now i don't know how much he's going for the auction house is legitimately broken so we're just gonna put up random numbers and pray we get one i don't think for a car that's going up to diamond 3k is a lot i don't think that is a lot i think that should be a decent amount should be maybe even underpaying at some point but um, I'm just throwing up random numbers at this point. I know the first one I put up a lot. 5k on the first one. It's fine though. There's a possibility I don't win any of these. That is definitely a possibility. People are definitely outbidding me on all of them right now. It's going to happen. But hey, I'm just going to put out my best chance. I'm going to put out a fighting chance. I'm going to look at these and I'm just going to put up numbers and numbers. And I got a lot of MT to do so. We're going to redeem everything in a second. Let's just keep going for a little bit. Keep going, keep going. And yo, these cards do go up to diamonds, like I said. So keep that in mind. Did I get a bid on that? Yes, I did. All right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, relax, bro. Relax. The timer. For all I know, none of these are even going through right now. Keep in mind, some of them I didn't even bid 3K on. Some of them I bid a lot less. So let's keep that in mind. Did I win any? Not really. Not really at all. We did win some though. Look at this. Look at this. I'm getting one case back on some of these. The first ones I wasn't winning at all. 5K, 4K, 3. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. I don't mind. But this one, I probably got it for 500. I'm not even going to lie. Because only one I bid 5,000 on. Then the rest I was bidding like 3,000. So that is actually a big success right here. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. I'm not even upset. I just basically sniped three cards right there. For anyone that is not familiar, it says that I won the outcome of this bid, right? It says I get the card and that MT. That means I basically bid that much over. So you can always bid over. So basically when you go to bid fair guard, it asks you what's your maximum bid. What is the absolute most you are willing to spend on a card? So right here, the most I am willing to spend is 3,500. It will straight up tell me now the bid is 5,000. Are you willing to spend more than 5,000? Answer is no, I'm not willing to do so. But just remember, so basically you could put 5,000. Then all the auction is going to do is that it's going to jump me over whatever it was before. So say right now, the current bid on this is literally 500. If I put a thousand, it will not charge me a thousand. It'll charge me 600. It only goes up by like 10%. So it'd be like 550. And then at the end, if no one bids a thousand, I will get it for 550 and get the rest of my thousand back. Now, the moment someone bids 900 or 950, it's going to say, oh, my bid is a thousand. So it's going to push me up to a thousand. And then it will ask him if they want to go over a thousand or for anyone else to go over a thousand. It'll show them the bid now is a thousand. So let's just keep that in mind when you guys are bidding. I know some of you guys are new to my team and might be scared. What if I bid more or how can I make sure I get my card? So bid your maximum that you are willing to spend on the card. And you guys can see it here. I bid 3,300 on this one and it pushed that one up to that. I bid 1,850 on that. It showed me that the current bid is that. And this one I'm currently winning. So what you can also do is you could check your active bids. So you actually would rather sit in here than to sit in the other one here it should update you it doesn't always you see right there actually somebody bid 2300 so it pushed me up to 2350 basically it is like a bidding auction and i could just sit in here and as soon as someone passes me to 3000 or whatever the case is then i can actually be able to bid back it'll show me so the red means i lost those so i could actually redeem those right now i'll redeem my mt back for those bids and then i could come back here and i actually lost that one too so that's what i got the mt for so what is going on guys it's your boy most and i know there was no intro to that video i just had to get straight into getting a latrell spree well and now you're probably wondering why is this man getting latrell spree well so this is one of the new evolution cars that just came out in the new basically kevin garnett series spotlight challenge series if you guys didn't see any of those i'll link them all down below you guys can check them out so right now we do have a latrell spreewell that does get evolved multiple times three to be exact he goes up to a ruby then to an ami and then to a diamond he has three different levels he goes up to a diamond is all i have to say you see all the badges go up all his stats go up and honestly 
This card is pretty cheap. You saw me getting them pretty cheap. I don't know how much the card is actually going for because the auction house is slightly broken. And it's honestly tough to make a video like this with the auction house the way it is. But I'm going to make it happen. What I'm going to do is just basically explain to you guys what you guys should be doing and making MT. We talked about this part already. So this part I'm going to basically skim over really quick from episode one. And that is the evolution method. One new cool thing 2K added was adding evolution cards that you can sell as evolved the versions of them. So someone who wants to grind out a card that they just bought for like 3K, for example, just bought a card for 1 to 2K. I'm going to go here and now I could sell this card as an evolved player. So what that means is I would be getting more money for it. And the reason is I was willing to put in the grind. I was willing to do something that someone else wasn't. And here I would be able to like basically be rewarded for it. Someone is willing to pay you extra for doing something that they weren't. Now we're going to check to see if there's any amethyst ones up. And someone's had an amethyst one up for a while now. Shout out to that person. There are no diamonds up yet. It's only been four hours. So shout out to this dude for really getting an ammy up here. Someone might bid on it. He might make up a little 100k or something. That would be really cool. And now you're probably wondering what cards you should be doing this with, right? So there is a Daryl Armstrong who does evolve to a Ruby. That's a little profit right there. He goes to an ammy as well. I keep getting stuck at heat check. I keep forgetting there's one in between. But you can sell him as an amethyst as well. That's a way bigger grind from Sapphire to ammy. But if you're doing it anyway, why not? Those are cards from last week that we were looking at that I told you guys you could make a profit. New cards that you can definitely make a profit for now though is this rick smith rick rick ricky ricky bobby joe whatever you call him this rick card actually goes for a lot so if you're able to evolve this card he's a really tall center seven four and after what they did to my boy george merson if you didn't hear he actually got nerfed so now you have a guy like him who's seven four and he's probably really cheesy as an amethyst so why not maybe try to make your mt off this buying a ruby card and evolving him that way we showed off Spreewell, and we also have this marberry card i wonder if i could get this card for really cheap as well not the highest bidder i know i'm not not the highest bidder perfectly fine but yeah i just want to remind you that my favorite way to snipe out cards isn't by bidding on these cards yeah it's awesome you can you can definitely win stuff right you can definitely get these for cheap but this is kind of a better sniping method where you bid on cards that have buy nows because most of the time people don't notice these People don't really look at them. They kind of look at the other ones and they kind of let these slide by. So just keep that in mind as well. And now I'd be able to keep track of them here. I already lost out on these two. This one I'm probably going to lose out, but you never know. Because that price that people see, 38750 kind of throws some people off. Now I told you guys a couple times not to sell these cards right away. And to hold on to these till they're out of packs. Now they're out of packs. This morning Carmelo Anthony was selling for 130k. I seen it with my eyes. I seen one go for like 140k. 40 150 tim duncan's price is rising some of them are dropping now but in the long run these cards are gonna go up in price so keep that in mind we need to just basically do these videos so you guys can catch a trend there's gonna be a trend where it happens with these spotlight series two cards where basically right now you got kobe going for 150 160 he'll drop over the next couple days but once he's out of packs he will go back up same with Paul Pierce. He's high now. He's going to eventually drop when more and more people have them. And just keep that in mind with all these cards. You're going to need these to get the Chris Webber if you plan to do the Spotlight Series 1 challenges. And now this week's topic is mainly about stuff that has nothing to do with the auction house. And what I mean by that is since the auction house doesn't work, we're going to have to find a method to make MT without it. And that's by quick selling stuff that we may not notice we don't need. So you're going to go into your miscellaneous and your shoes. Shoes don't count towards collector level. You don't need your shoes more likely than not. The only shoes you would need are diamond shoes. You can actually check shoes individually now. This is something cool they didn't have last year. But look at this. I can check to see how much this shoes goes for by itself. I see the cheapest one up is 12.9K. I could put mine up for like 12K and hope it sells instead of me quick selling. So I know how much it's going for. You can do the same for any shoe in the game. But you'll start to notice that shoes are up and people don't really buy them. It would be kind of a waste and a waste of time for you to sit there and sell all of these on the auction house. Some of them you're going to see aren't up, but it doesn't mean it's because people are buying them or selling. You're going to notice that people just don't buy shoes that aren't diamonds. There are going to be a couple gold shoes that do sell for basically maybe three point shoes. Other than that, everything you can quick sell. And obviously you could quick sell them here, but this you can make a lot of mistakes. So say I'm quick selling, quick selling, quick selling, and then I'm not paying attention because this is so boring and I quick sell my diamonds. So we've talked about this in the past. 
going to continue talking about it now you can go in here and you could search for whatever you want you could search for your players you could search for your coaches your home jerseys your away jerseys your arenas your playbooks your logos whatever the case may be so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna go shoe cards bronzes and we're gonna have fun selling all these shoes right we're gonna sit here it's gonna take us a while but at the end of the day i didn't pay for any of these shoes i didn't do anything for any of these shoes how did i get these shoes you ask i got these from domination you're gonna notice this one had three quantities now there's two so this is just 750 mt just sitting there 250 mt just sitting there 250 mt just sitting there and you're probably like 250 mt is nothing like why am i gonna sit here and do this at the end of the day honestly all this is gonna add up i just started and i think we've already made 3k mt and i could sit here and talk to you guys while i do this but i'm not even gonna do that to you so i'm gonna finish this up and basically from there you guys will notice how much mt we started with how much we made i know we were at 80k and some change so we'll just keep that in mind we're 5k in and we have a lot of shoes look at this i have pages on pages on pages on pages of shoes that i got from just doing domination literally didn't even pull any packs so just keep that in mind if you did your domination stuff this is just extra mt sitting in there look there's a quantity of three on some of these like i'm sure there's some of these that i have a bunch of and these are just the bronze keep that in mind i still didn't go to my silvers i'm gonna do this with my golds and none of these shoes are worth anything i promise you you're not gonna want to use them for any reason you're not gonna need them for anything like it's gonna be worthless if you're actually stuck on a challenge and you want to add a shoe for a player i do recommend that like people who ask me how to dunk with wade if you have a dunking shoe why not add it to him like why not do that that's always an option for sure if you need threes with certain players like i need threes with darius miles i can't really shoot that well with him or whatever the case is i could put a three-point shoe on him why not so little things like that definitely add up but at the end of the day this is definitely worth doing like i said i'm not going to show all this but i'm going to show you like quickly like just basically like look silver cards they go for a little more 275 instead of 250 and if you really are curious if a shoe actually sells for more you can check but i promise you it's not really going to sell for more if you do have a gold three-point shoe you could kind of look from there so i'll check to see if i have one i have like a speed one here in mid-range i doubt it goes for anything i'll check there are people that have it up for more but at the end of the day if i bid 300 for this i'm gonna win it and it's gonna be pointless so just keep that in mind again you're not really gonna really need these at all the only ones are three point shoes if they were gonna sell so guys just give me a little bit let me do this so we can see how much mt we actually are getting finishing up here on the last couple bronzes so bronzes only last for two games now and you guys can see we already made 22k from what it's looking like we're gonna go to silvers right now and do the same thing these do last for four games just wanted to update you guys because they do last for less than last year i found a three-point shoe right here let's see if this goes for anything people have it up for something this might sell so maybe i'll just skip this one for now it's a three-point shoe i might use it on a player myself so i might as well keep that one and not sell it that's the only shoe i'm telling you that people actually care about no one really cares about anything else i don't know why that is it's just the way the game works it's just the way people think and stuff other than that i'm gonna sell my golds for 300 as well golds do last for six games that is also changed i'm pretty sure it used to be three five seven last year now it's two four six i was debating if i wanted to hold on to these lillards but i really don't think these are gonna sell so let's just keep selling them like i really don't think they will like i said you can keep them you could keep checking and all that but at the end of the day are you really gonna sell them in your auction house if you have the time and place i guess why not right try to make that extra mt all mt is good mt that's my saying all the time and yeah other than that i'm i'm all out man i'm all out sell all my stuff we also have a lot of injury cards you can sell injury cards it's just like quick and easy stuff that don't count towards your collector level and stuff you're really not going to use the chance of you needing an injury card is so low i've had two players get injured so far this year and neither of them needed an injury card if you want to save like two injury cards why not i guess you could do that for sure but the best way for you to even avoid this like if someone does get injured you can just go ahead and play some triple threat offline or triple threat online game it will make the games go by faster and they do count towards their recovery process so last year you guys were able to say i got all that stuff because i opened a lot of packs this year you cannot that was all from grinding the game pretty much domination all that stuff we're gonna look in miscellaneous one more time to see if there's anything else i could sell and honestly there isn't we do have a lot of contracts i want you guys to remember to save your contracts right here you will see i have 60 
60 bronze contracts just sitting here i have a total of 40 silver contracts just sitting here these i got from domination i don't use my contracts for my players i've said this many many times so right here you're gonna see i'm gonna show you guys really really quickly let me just put a small forward that has contracts right here you're gonna see my boy george who was nerfed r.i.p george you're still my man you're still gonna be used and my man is smith both don't have contracts so should i waste one of my contracts on them definitely not definitely definitely not all i usually do is if that's the squad i'm using even if i'm not about to play a game i'll go in here real quick i'll say purchase contracts for affected players i could add them five contracts for 280 for both of them they both get five contracts each for 280 mt i'm just gonna click yes we're gonna go back we're gonna see the lineup we're gonna see that george has five games that he can play ish has five games that he can play and all that for 280 mt i saved my contracts for good players the only players you should be saving your contracts for are your diamonds maybe not even diamonds cost about 500 for five i usually don't even use it on the diamonds but you can for sure you could save some mt use the contracts on your diamonds and up pink diamonds for sure when we have galaxy opals for sure and all that stuff is just saving mt yes you are going to spend some actual mt but it's little empty it's definitely worth less than actually using a contract i will say for a lot of you guys the emmys might be worth using contracts for too emmys are kind of expensive i just know that i don't like doing it on my emmys so it's not just diamonds you can do it on emmys for sure anything lower than an emmy isn't really worth it emmys cost about 400 for five the other ones cost less than that so definitely not worth it now i told you guys before i leave the big things for the ends and this one is huge so heat check cards are not out yet he check cards are not coming out till the start of the NBA season. So we have roughly a month. So some of these heat check cards are going for a lot. You'll see some of them are really expensive. There are a few that aren't that expensive, but most of them are expensive because some people are just doing it for collector level. Some people are doing it for tokens, whatever the case is. People are definitely, definitely, definitely going for heat checks. I have one heat check card currently. He's not going for too much. Now, the question is, how do you get heat check cards if they're not out? One, if you pre-ordered the $100 edition, you do get a heat check card every pretty much week. It's not guaranteed, but you do get a pack. And the other way is where you can make some MT, right? If you guys play some My Team Unlimited, if it actually works, you can actually win some games. And once you get to three games won, you get a base heat check reward. And from here, you can play to win some heat check cards. So basically, let's say you're not that great to be going for Larry Bird, or say you lag a lot or whatever the case is. Maybe your team's not that good yet, or you're just out to make some MT. You can't be bothered. Play some games. All you need is three wins for a base heat check reward. You have a chance at a heat check card from the base packs. You're not guaranteed one. If you're a little better or you think you can win more games, try to get to seven wins so you can get some heat check cards from there. And basically, you can make a lot of MT from that. Obviously, you need to get lucky, but at the end of the day, you're just playing some games. And you can honestly really, really profit if you do it right. So if I could just win three games out of every five, basically, or every six, I can get one of these packs and have a chance at a really expensive heat check. Now, I'm here to tell you guys something that I've been telling people. I was telling people to sell the Amis from the jump because I knew we were going to get packs that had regular cards in them that people were opening. So these legacy packs actually had normal cards inside. So what I mean by that is they dropped the normal collection by a little bit for sure. Giannis's price dropped by a lot from what he originally was. LeBron's price, Kawhi's price, most of the cards from the set definitely dropped. You've seen the hit for sure. And that is the reason you guys haven't gotten how much these collection costs yet. I was trying to make that video, but prices were changing so much. I thought I'd wait a little bit till they'd slow down and like basically die and stay out of line so i should be able to get that done for you guys this weekend so from there i don't want to keep talking about the same stuff over and over again i think i'll end the video here if you didn't see episode one it's a little different a little more in detail with the evolution but it's definitely different in other aspects so i'm gonna keep doing this as different as possible as i move forward so it's not repetitive for people who do watch it all the way through i love you if you do make sure you like or subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you guys later Let's get the water, veggies, watch the ball.